In this video, we're going to focus on something called the Feynman technique. This is a technique that can be applied whenever you wish to not only learn something new, but also to understand it. Now there's four key areas in the Feynman technique. Number one, the first thing you want to do is you want to define what exactly it is that you wish to learn and then take action by studying that subject or topic. What's interesting is that you can learn anything that you set your mind to. For instance, if you want to learn math, physics, or algebra, uh, you could do that. You just have to take action and start learning. So that's the first part of the Feynman technique, defining what it is you want to learn and then start studying. The second step involves teaching others. Once you learn the subject, what you want to do is you want to try to explain to yourself what you've learned. You could do this verbally or by writing down notes on a sheet of paper. But you can also, even better, try explaining it to someone else. Because if they don't get it, they'll ask you questions to see you know, if you can help them understand it. And if you can explain it in a way that they understand it, then that shows that you have a decent grasp of the topic. Now I know this to be especially true in my case. Even though I've learned subjects such as chemistry and physics in high school, uh, my understanding of these topics, they were greatly improved after I began working as a tutor, teaching it to other people. It's been said that as you teach others, you teach yourself. In fact, the process of explaining what you learn to yourself or someone else is very useful. It can help you to determine whether or not you understand your material to a reasonable degree. For instance, I've heard it been said that if you can't explain it well to someone else, you don't understand it yourself. Now, the third step of the Feynman technique is to identify gaps in your understanding. After you try explaining the subject to yourself or someone else in step two, chances are you're going to pick up on some gaps in your understanding that you didn't know were there the first time you learned the material. Once that happens, you want to go back and review the subject a second time to fill those gaps that you've identified. So whenever you're reading a book, or let's say if you watch a movie, whenever you do it a second time, don't you notice additional details that you missed the first time you read the book or watched that movie? I know this is true for me. Therefore, whenever you learn anything new, it's always good to review the material a second or a third time to gain a better understanding of the subject. Because once you understand it, it's going to be difficult for you to forget it. I know in school, what I like to do is I like to learn the material ahead of time before the teacher teaches it in class. Because once I'm exposed to the material the second time, it deepens my understanding of the material. So anytime you review a topic, you look at it a second, a third, or a fourth time, you're going to gain additional details that you probably didn't notice were there before. So that third step, reviewing, to like fill in the gaps of what you don't understand, that's part of the Feynman technique. Now, as you try to explain what you've learned to someone else in step two, when they ask you questions, and if you feel like you can't answer it, that's how you can identify gaps in your understanding. And that's when you go to step three to review the material again, to fill in those gaps uh, that you've missed. Now, the fourth step is to simplify your explanation. You want to understand the material so well that you can not only break it apart down into its fundamental elements, but also make connections with other similar topics. Once you get to a point where you can explain it simply to a kid, that's when you reach a point where you've acquired a reasonable understanding of the subject. So, whenever you wish to learn something new, or even understand uh, something, try explaining it to yourself, or even better, to someone else. This will help you to know if you have a good grasp of the topic, or if you need to go back and study some more. So that's the basic idea behind Feynman's technique. 
of learning something new and understanding it. Number one, you want to study it. Number two, teach it to others. Number three, once you've identified gaps in your knowledge, go back and review the material. Number four, simplify your explanation. Develop the ability to explain what you learn in such a simple way that anyone with a limited vocabulary can understand. So that's the basic idea behind Famous Technique. And uh, hopefully you found this video to be helpful. Now I'm going to take a moment to discuss an ebook that will be very useful for those of you who want to improve your study skills. So if you go to this website, video-tutor.net, and you click on my ebook, here you'll find a page that talks about this ebook that I have on Amazon entitled How to Pass Difficult Math and Science Classes. So in this ebook, I'm going to go over some strategies that you can use that can help you to do well in your next course. You can click on the image or this link, the buy now button, and it will take you to the Amazon page where you can uh, buy the ebook. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance. And that'll be it for this video. So thanks for watching.